So today we're at the research greenhouse facility at the Horticultural Research Farm at the University of Kentucky. Um, what we're growing in this uh, crop is an uh, English cucumber. It's a crop that you typically trellis vertically um, and have a fairly long season. You're growing a higher value crop compared to field slicers. Uh, value of English cucumbers is usually three to four times the amount of a traditional field slicing cucumber. Um, you can also produce these in a soil-based system, either in a, in a true heated greenhouse or in a passively heated a high tunnel. Uh, I've grown these English cucumbers in both types of systems. Both do very well. Uh, you're trellising them the exact same way uh, in terms of using aircraft cable overhead and using some string um, as well. Um, there are also some other types of specialty cucumbers known as beta alpha type. They're much smaller in size, uh, but I'd say the, one of the major differences between the beta alphas and the English types is some of the labor involved. So with the beta alphas, you're going to have a need to harvest every day, and that may not fit in well to some individual's uh, labor scheme. Um, but on the other hand, with the English cucumbers, you can harvest every day, or I mean, excuse me, every other day. Um, but with that, um, you are going to need to be removing lateral shoots or suckers, as some people refer to them as, um, on a regular basis. So what we're looking at here is a clip for trellising uh, greenhouse vegetables. It's used for tomatoes, bell peppers, as well as cucumbers. It's a small hinged clip. And you see here where there's actually a place where the string uh, will be bound by the clip so the, the clip won't slide up and down the string because if it's allowed to slide up and down the string, the cucumber plant in this case would fall to the ground because these plants require support since we're trellising them vertically sometimes up to 12 to 15 feet in height so when you close the clip you can see here that it actually that's where the string goes that you're trellising from overhead and, and that clip locks in place so it won't come undone and then also you have the string in bound in there and so it's not going to slide up and down on the on the plant Okay, so we just spoke about utilizing these clips to provide support uh, for trellising vegetables. In this case, we're looking at English cucumber. And so you have a string from overhead. You have a string that's coming down from overhead off a braided steel aircraft cable. And under each leaf node or every other leaf node, you're going to put the clip around the string. And then when you close it underneath the leaf axle, it's locked around the plant itself. And then if you look here, you can also see where it's bound the string and if you tug on this it's not going anywhere because the teeth inside that hinge place is what's going to hold that clip in place and provide support for this plant. Now with an English cucumber uh, system you are going to be pruning all of your lateral shoots. So here you have a lateral shoot and you'll see some others here in, a, in a moment and so we're only since we're removing all the lateral shoots we're only setting fruit off of the main stem and so at this size, uh, which is a good time to remove the lateral shoot, you can actually use your fingers and you can pinch it off fairly cleanly. And it's not a problem, this is what you're left with. Um, one other point to take note of is uh, with these types of, of clippings or, or plant material that you're removing, you don't want to just throw them on the ground. Uh, sanitation is a really uh, big concern in greenhouses and high tunnels and you want to collect that into some sort of receptacle and remove that from the greenhouse at the time of pruning. Now you have the individual's fruit setting here and then as you go up and you look more vertically you see the next uh, node you've got another lateral shoot. This is what's known as the tendril. The tendrils we leave they're usually not a problem. Uh, sometimes they will wrap around a leaf and if that's the case you can remove it. But as you're doing this, um, again, when they're this small, you can simply pinch them off and it's really not a problem to remove. But also remember, do not throw them on the ground. You want to make sure that you're putting them into a receptacle and removing them from the house on a daily basis. Or, and with an English cucumber system, pruning is something that you're likely going to be doing every other day. Uh, you need to stay on top of these plants. They grow fairly rapidly. Uh, I've seen them grow up to six inches in a given day. Uh, and then also with the, the fruit harvest itself, uh, you're hoping for a fruit that's at least 12 inches in length and about 2 inches in diameter. Um, you also, in this case, you're not going to pinch these fruit off or tear them off. You're going to want to actually use pruners, but we're not going to remove this fruit because it's not ready at this stage. So just a moment ago, we showed you a smaller fruit uh, that was only about 4 inches in length and probably half an inch in diameter. And what you see here now is a fruit almost fully mature 
Um, it will likely be ready for harvest uh, within either today or tomorrow um, because you definitely don't want them to get to an uh, oversized category, which then typically deems them unmarketable. And when you're growing a high value crop like this, you want to make sure you're harvesting at the appropriate time. Um, and just to reiterate again, uh, when you're removing this, I'm using pruners to remove the fruit close to the plant. But after that, I'm also removing the stem that was attached to the fruit here. And then you're discarding this in the appropriate receptacle, not on the floor of the greenhouse. And then you're packing these fruit uh, as needed in the appropriate facility. All right, so uh, when you're growing a, a trellis uh, crop that you grow vertically, like English cucumber in this case, you have to provide some sort of support from overhead. And so what I'm showing you here is this is braided aircraft cable. In this case, we're using a quarter inch aircraft cable. In other systems, uh, one eighth inch has been uh, sufficient to support the plant. So from that aircraft cable, it's running from one end wall to the next. Um, you've got, what, in this case, what's called a tomahawk. There's different types of systems where they have a spool with a brake, which you can release more string. Um, but in this system, a uh, simple tomahawk, which is uh, one of the less expensive versions, you wrap, uh, unwrap the string as you need it, and then you hang that onto the aircraft cable. And then as you see here, you're using the black clips um, to affix the plant to the string uh, so it stays attached. In the pruning system for English cucumber, we use what's called an umbrella system. So once you've grown the plant to the fullest extent that you have available, in this case we're looking at approximately nine feet um, at the aircraft cable, you have no more room to support the plant vertically. So at this point, what you typically do is you'll lay um, part of the uh, vine across the top of the aircraft cable, and then like we've used uh, at the plant here, uh, in this case it's not going to be uh, caught in the hinge because the aircraft cable is too thick, but it will hold in this case. You simply are going to wrap uh, the clip around the aircraft cable and around the stem of the plant. After you've done that, we call it an umbrella system because what you do is you end up removing the apical meristem and the main growing point, but you have to remember that you have to leave Two, at least two lateral shoots. You don't want to prune all the way to the top once you reach the wire. At that point, after you've topped the plant, uh, you're going to allow two of the lateral shoots to grow out down either side of the aircraft cable, and it will start growing downwards. And once it starts to approach the ground, is usually about the end of the crop.